Although we talked about the load duration factor in a previous video, it is worthwhile to talk about it a little bit more. Recall that the duration factor is chosen based on the load of shortest duration in an ASD load combination. And so let's be deliberate to write this down. And we're going to make a little table here and show the correspondence between this shortest load in terms of time and the duration factor itself. So for example, some of the most common loads we're going to list and if dead load was the load of shortest duration, then a person would use a C sub D factor of 0 0.9. If the load of shortest du duration was floor live load, then we would use a CD factor of 1.0. If we had snow, we would use 1.15 typically. If we have roof live load, then we would use a C sub D factor of 1.25. And if we had wind or seismic or earthquake, then the appropriate factor or value for C sub D is 1.6. Now on some special occasions you might have what is referred to as an impact load and in such cases the recommended value is 2.0. Now in each of these cases we have some common abbreviations for these. We have a D for dead load, we have L for floor live load, we have S for snow, we have L sub R for roof live load, and we have W or E for wind or earthquake. And for impact, typically we see uh, perhaps an I. Uh, with these things in hand, it's easy for a person then to choose the duration factor and uh, of course you have to look through your ASD load combination and ask yourself what is the load of shortest duration in the particular load combination and then you pick the corresponding C sub D value. Hopefully that's helpful to you. I, I think it's worthwhile to point out that uh, in the case of floor live load in the previous video uh, we saw a table where it referred to that as occupancy live load, but that means the same thing as floor live load. We also saw in the previous video that for roof live load it referred to it as a construction load, but that's the same here as uh, what you would use if you knew it was a roof live load that you were applying to the structure. So hopefully that's helpful to you and that concludes this video regarding the duration factor.